How, how can I mean, you if he reaches, murder you know, someone? I mean. Watch, watch, if I do this, okay. I can only get scared, you know? Oh. What's she doing? Are you reaching? Yeah, I'm reaching. Are you trembling, oh. sir? I feel like I see her hand Thanks. shaking a little bit. This is actually a situation where I would use the case law, okay? So, uh, What's Tennessee that? versus Gardner, okay? So, it's fleeing felon. If you believe somebody's presently armed and dangerous and poses a threat to public safety, you may use deadly force oh my God. on that person. So, right now, oh I can God. shoot Cannoli because I think he's armed and deadly, right? And I could shoot Jim here because oh he's God. looks like he's reaching for a gun. But we're not going to shoot each other because we're both Kirk. cops. Is this something only cops can and use both or can civilians use? Use this as well uh well you're not really afforded the same protections oh. uh as police officers you know we deal with that stuff every day right the yeah. you know maybe in a city like this it's a little more violent so you know you you'd say it's not uh uncommon to find yourself in a situation like that but there definitely is you know the standard ground concept uh, to protect yourself and do it uh, lawfully you know yeah yeah if you ever have any questions on the standard ground law you can call james randall he's like an expert at it oh yep. oh that's that's the the old man that's uh that's i would uh, defend to myself save me off the maze bank tower the yeah, other yeah. day he was very nice mm -hmm. yeah I, I gave all right yeah i gave him my wheelchair temporarily uh when my legs were working and then uh oh, that's and nice. then we well, yeah the, it didn't go well and now i'm in my chair for god knows how how'd long. you lose your legs the second time uh the second time no no it was just the, it was just that time it was the maze bank tower he tried saving me but it didn't it didn't go well um he did it on purpose didn't he i don't i don't know i don't think so yeah, i don't think he would do honest. something like that he seems yeah, he like would a dream. nice guy he's, he's just definitely a little would. guy no he's he definitely guy. would do that on purpose he would do that on purpose Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I All really right. don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to work, ma'am, but you uh you have a great day. Yeah, you, I'm not getting too. I just you realized too. we're not getting paid for this since we're on Oh, I'm so down. sorry yeah. for uh, taking up your time that's, here. That's I'll, really no, it's here, okay. here, sorry. right this way. You feel free to oh, thank you. pass through the home here. Sorry, uh, thank you. You, you sorry to pass through your home. No, no, you guys are always welcome. You guys are both very nice. Sorry, what'd you say, Connolly? Uh, sorry about that, uh, Jim, you know, calling me there. So, some people say I'm not really good uh, picking up on social cues. So sometimes I say things that uh, may be awkward or a little insensitive, but yeah. it, all, it all comes from a good place. Don't you know, worry I, about I mean, this, well, Connolly. Don't worry. I don't not really good on uh, symbolism or context. I don't That's really... Uh, phrasing? Phrasing I'm terrible at. No, oh, it's a, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, you have a great rest of your night, okay? You too, Connolly. All right. Be safe out hey, there. Here's my number if you ever need the police, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's 911. <laughs> Oh, 911. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. No problem. You bye take bye. it easy. You're taking it every time. It's so good every time. Every time. Be safe.